Hey everybody, welcome to eTrailer.com. I'm Bobby, and today we're taking a look at the Yakima Hold Up 2 bike platform rack here on the back of our 2020 Toyota Highlander. So guys, if you want a way of carrying two bikes, this can be a decent little setup. Now personally, it's not my favorite bike rack out there. It is a bit of an older model, and personally, I think there's a lot of greater, better options out there for you. However, it's still going to be a decent rig to, to go ahead and start carrying your bikes to and fro your destination. So one thing that's really great about it though, we are getting a front tire hold on there. So this is going to be carbon bike adaptable or compatible, I should say, and that's going to be excellent. So you can go ahead and actually start carrying your nice carbon frame bikes with you because normally you have a lot of frame uh, kind of latch on options out there, attachment options on there, and that ends up warping and deteriorating this carbon frame bike. So I think that's what this guy's awesome for is actually getting those carbon frame bikes to and fro, but it's also going to have a lot of capability with 60 pounds capacity, you're going to have no trouble getting almost any bike up on here, even up into those heavy e-bike ranges, which is great. Now, personally, there's a lot of better, uh, awesomer uh, e-bike carriers out there like the Yakima on-ramp. That's going to be a great way of actually giving you a nice little ramp of getting it up on here. However, still great that we have the full capabilities that the holdup is offering us. So, yes, we have that front tire hold, which is great. You also have this really nice front tire cradle. I like how it actually can, can be put away, which is actually an excellent little thing about this guy. And it is kind of nice how much it can condense itself, which is great. And then, of course, our wheels can hang in there. You have that 18C standard groove widening out for your larger tires. And on the back hold here, you do have this little rotating cradle. That becomes nice for your longer wheelbases, of course, or your shorter ones of keeping them in there. And you do have a little strip here, a little ratchet technology holding that in. Nice to go ahead and secure that back wheel so we have more securance on our bikes, right? Well, one thing that's great about this, it can tilt away. What the thing that isn't so great about it is can't really tilt away enough here on the back of our Highlander. So let's go ahead and see that together. We do have this little tab right here. All I have to do, pull that guy. That's going to let this tilt away. And as you guys can see here today, we are going to have just a little bit of a, of a run in here. As this kind of goes up, you can see it's going to be walking right towards that handlebar. I'm going to want to stop right there. Now I could do this, right? I could go ahead and tilt this away and then get my hatch open, but that's something we have to watch every time, you know, and that can get stuck underneath there. You're not thinking about it. You go over to open the hatch and all of a sudden you're ripping your handlebar, ripping that and not having all this get dinged up and not look good. So in my mind, you're going to be better served grabbing yourself a different, better two bike platform rack carrier out there. One I might suggest right away is going to be the Kuat Sherpa 2.0. Now it is going to be just a little bit more on the expensive side. However, you're going to get a lot of great premium features, a lot of great look. Personally, uh, it just destroys the style on the hold up here. I think it looks really good and you're still getting a really good compatibility of actually getting onto the back of your Highlander. It actually can tilt your bikes all the way away. Now, the only thing that I'll say that is kind of a negative for the Sherpa, it doesn't have that 60 pound rating. So if you're looking to get your big heavy bikes up on there, the Sherpa is probably going to be a no-go. Then I'd start looking at the Kuat Envy 2.0. That has about a 60 pound capacity rating. However, that starts to becoming more and more expensive. So that's why I see the Sherpa kind of right in line with the guy. Yes, it's a little more expensive, a little lower weight capacity. However, if you do find yourself just with your standard or even your mountain bike type bike so that you're wanting to get there, that can be a great pivot because it is going to allow you to fully open that. And it kind of stinks that I can't open that hatch easily with my bikes loaded up on here, which is one of the big selling points for the holdup in my opinion. You also are having these locking cores on either end of your arms, which comes very nice though. So you can go ahead, loop that through your frame, back onto itself and start securing it. It will come with locking cores as well. And Yakima boasts their same key system, which allows you to go ahead and get any of your other accessories key alike to this guy, which can be very nice. So if you have a roof rack system, anything else, going to be nice to go ahead, get that key to like, reduce it to one key. If you're like me, a couple spares go a long way. Well, it's not going to take me too much longer to get the bike off, but let's go ahead and see exactly how we're interacting here with our Highlander. You guys can see our tires are almost sitting exactly parallel there with our taillights. So we are going to be running into a little bit of interference there. Now we have good distance between our bike and that. So we still have good emittance. People are going to see that light, but it is just going to be a little bit locked. Nice that we have the cowling up course up top to make sure people know when we are breaking. Well, we can go ahead and pop the bike off to do that. I'm just going to undo my strip here in the back. Those guys do a great job holding that back wheel on. And then I can go ahead and release my lever here, or I'm sorry, my arm by pressing in on my lever. Of course, let's make sure we're holding onto our bike. Don't want that tilting into our bikes or ourselves. 
And one thing I'm not a really big fan of, you might have heard that clicking that goes down. Uh, just as an audible kind of a person or um, person that doesn't really like those auditory noises, not my, my not my favorite kind of noise that I have to hear every time I move it. However, it is kind of nice that it gives me that securance. I'm knowing that that arm's not going to be moving anytime soon. That's one thing I really do like about it. So it's kind of got that pro and con, right? Like you know that it's not going to be moving very easy from here. You can see with just natural road shake, it won't move too much, which is really nice, especially when you have it all the way down, it won't be popping up anytime soon and hitting your vehicle when you do fold it up. So that's kind of the advantage of that noise, uh, just to put an, a nicer light on it, but still, it's just not my favorite. It's really, really loud and it's just kind of oppressive. So at the very end too, you do have a little bottle opener, which can be great to open up your favorite beverage of choice. Of course, Yakima always trying to squeeze those guys in there. It is the Yakima tried and tested bottle opener, of course. Well, a couple things we're going to look at here is going to be the clearance that we're working with on our vehicle and how much length we're adding to the back of our Highlander. Now, it already is somewhat of a longer vehicle, so let's go ahead and see exactly what we're working with here today. From the ground here today to the very end of our carrier is putting us at 19 and three quarters of an inch there to our wing. So that's definitely going to be something that's not going to be too worrying for ourselves. We are nice and well enough out of the way. We have a decent little rise in our carrier. But keep in mind, as those front wheels go up, the back will go down, and so will your hitch mounted accessories. So that's definitely something just to kind of kind of keep a watch on. And now the other thing we want to go ahead and get is our length that we're adding to our vehicle. So from the back of the vehicle here today to the very end of our carrier is putting us at 30 and a half inches there guys so definitely not the worst i've seen and we do have a way of quickly shortening that down we're going to write back to that lever we utilized to actually or that pen i should say we utilized earlier to tilt this away one thing you want to do just press that little tab that allows that plastic clip to be moved then i can go ahead walk it up and there to go nice and secured for itself. No pins or clips I have to worry about at this point. It is going to lock itself. Now you do have a little bit of movement here. Nothing too crazy. And especially as you are going down the road, you're probably not going to be feeling it too much. And I like how those arms do keep themselves in place. So like I said, that's kind of the uh, pros and cons of that audible click that you might hear. Moving our way down though, we can go ahead and see how much space we actually shaved here down today. And that's going to be putting you kind of in line right there at 12 and a half inches, guys. So now should have no trouble getting this in the garage, or at the very least, give yourself a lot more maneuverability to get it parked. Well, we are working ourselves on a two inch shank here today, allowing ourselves to be utilized by a two inch hitch receiver. Now we do have a threaded anti-rattle hitch bolt here today, making sure that we can go ahead and secure ourselves. Now these are very standard across the industry, but you still love to see them. It's going to take all that shake and play out of your vehicle. So as I shake this, it's going to go ahead and shake the entirety of that vehicle, bringing us all in line to one system, making for a nicer, smoother ride for ourselves, our bike rack, and our bikes. Now, you do have that locking core on that hitch pin as well, making sure your carrier stays attached to your vehicle when you leave it unattended. And, of course, that will be key to like to your same key system on each end of your arms to go ahead and secure everything. So. Honestly, that's where this guy really kind of is nice. I like that we have those added security elements. We don't have to add them on as accessories. Kuat Sherpa does the same thing though, which is great. So no issues there when you're talking about security compatibility. Um, again, nice that we have them. They do kind of kind of sell me on this guy. I like that we have locking cores that come innate with it. Honestly, it kind of stinks when you get a Yakima product and they have you add the locking cores. So this would be a great, I get this first, I get everything else key like to this system kind of purchase in my opinion. But overall, gonna be a half decent way, guys, of giving yourself two bikes to wherever you wanna go. Again, I would highly recommend taking a look at the Kuat Sherpa. I just think it does everything a little bit better. Or if you're wanting that weight capacity, go ahead and start looking up to that Kuat MV 2.0. They're just going to be way better bike rack carriers out there. And personally, you do with a little perusing here at eTrailer.com as well. Well, guys, I think that that about does it for our look at the Yakima Hold Up 2 Bike Platform Rack here in the back of our 2020 Toyota Highlander. I'm Bobby. Thank you for watching. Here it is on our test course. We'll start by going through the slalom. This is going to show us the side-to-side -side action, which simulates turning corners or evasive maneuvers. Next, we're at the alternating speed bumps which will see the twisting action. This will simulate hitting a curb or pothole or driving over uneven pavement. Finally, we have the full speed bumps where we'll see the up and down action, which is just like driving out of a parking lot, garage, or driveway.